DNA and knot theory. Have you ever had that knotty green garden hose that you just can't seem to get apart and you really wish that you could just cut it and paste it back together in certain parts so that you could unknot it more quickly? Well, this is very similar to knots in DNA and knots in mathematics. DNA is the genetic material of cells and it contains coded information about the molecules within the cells and their processes. DNA takes on the form of a double helix with two polynucleotide strands twisted around each other. The first step in cell division is to replicate the DNA so that it can pass along copies to each of its daughter cells. The DNA takes part in transcribing proteins which help direct and aid cell growth and activities. So before DNA can replicate, it must unpack itself so that it can interact with the enzymes called topoisomerases. And these enzymes help the DNA in breaking and rejoining the DNA. Essentially, knot theory can help us understand packing. This is now where mathematicians come into play and they get to help us find ways to compare the knottedness of two molecules. A knot is defined as a simple closed curve in space as seen in the blue and pink drawings. Here are three knots. The first knot is just a loop of string that forms a single loop called an unknot. But the second knot is clearly a knot that won't untie and the third knot is even more complicated than the second. Now look at some topological definitions to help us better understand these knots. Two knots are considered to be the same if one can be smoothly deformed into the other, meaning altered without cutting or breaking the knot. And, at certain spots in a knot projection, a curve will cross over or under itself. These crossing points are called double points. Each double point is assigned a positive or a negative sign depending on the orientation. So, if you turn a curve on top less than 180 degrees clockwise to match the curve on the bottom, then the sign is positive. And if you turn a curve on top less than 180 degrees counterclockwise to match the curve on the bottom, then it's a negative sign. So, the only way we untie these knots is by removing excess double points, which means switching which curve is underneath and which is on top. In the first example, I don't have to remove any double points to untie the knot. I can just smoothly deform it. However, in order to untie the knot in example 2, I must first remove a double point, then smoothly deform the knot. The amount of excess double points I remove is called the unknotting number. So let's think back to our topoisomerases. The amount of times that these enzymes are in action and they're cutting and rejoining strands of DNA, you can think of that as an unknotting number. So, whenever you've got your green hose in a bundle or you happen to be thinking about DNA, don't forget knot theory because it certainly comes into play.